I don't say this about vehicles very often, but the Range Rover Velar is stunningly beautiful, both inside and out, but there is much more to this mid-sized luxury SUV than just good looks, so get ready for another short list. Velar is the fourth member of the Range Rover family. Size-wise, it slots in between the smaller Evoque and larger Sport model, and with multiple powertrain options, a swanky interior, and tons of tech, there's a lot to talk about, but here are nine of the most important things to know. And as I mentioned earlier, this utility vehicle is simply gorgeous from every angle. Clean, elegant, sophisticated, it looks like something from 50 years in the future. And this isn't just my opinion, Velar also won the 2018 World Car Design of the Year Award. And one of this vehicle's signature features are its door handles. They enable those impossibly smooth body sides and help improve aerodynamics by retracting at speeds greater than five miles an hour or when the vehicle is locked. It's so cool to see them deploying or retracting in perfect unison. It's a frivolous touch, but one that I love. Focusing our attention inward, point number seven is this vehicle's high-tech interior. As you'd expect, the cabin is just as breathtaking as what you see outside, and it's dominated by a pair of 10-inch high-definition screens on both the dashboard and center console, which are home to the InControl Touch Pro Duo infotainment system, and these two displays replace myriad physical buttons and switches with a slick digital interface. Powering all this is an Intel quad-core processor and a high-speed solid-state drive. Though none of the Velar's tech responds with immediacy, it's a little slow. It's also a bit overwhelming to use, especially at first, but poke around for a while and you soon learn there's a method to the apparent madness. Of course, there's more to this interior than just screens, even if our top-of-the-line first edition model also features a reconfigurable digital instrument cluster. That's 12.3 inches of display, folks. There's also creamy soft leather on practically every surface, though the white cowhides fitted here probably aren't going to stay that way for very long, given the wear and tear of daily life. There are also available 20-way adjustable front bucket seats with heating, cooling, and massage functionality. As for mechanicals, American motorists can choose between three different engines in the Velar. A two-liter turbocharged gasoline four-cylinder unit serves base duty and delivers 247 horsepower. There's also a diesel available that's of the same displacement and layout that's good for 180 ponies. But what you'll probably want is the supercharged 3-liter V6 that packs a 380-horse kick in the pants. Torque measures 332 pound-feet. No matter the power plant, a responsive ZF 8-speed automatic transmission is standard. V6 Velars can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in 5.3 seconds, and this one feels every bit that quick, smoothly building speed with some nice blower wine to boot. In person, the Velar is smaller than you might expect. For whatever reason, it looks huge in photos. With an overall length of about 189 inches, it's a touch shorter than rivals like the Audi Q7, Acura MDX or Mercedes-Benz GLE. Luggage capacity is likewise comparable with more than 34 cubic feet available behind the second row and around 70 with the backrests dropped, which you curiously cannot do from the cargo hold, a poorly thought out design. Despite its concept car styling, the Velar can still go just about anywhere thanks to cutting edge four wheel drive technology. V6 models feature air suspension that can raise and lower the body, providing up to 9.9 .9 inches of ground clearance. And at max lift, the vehicle can wade through nearly 26 inches of water. Adaptive dampers are standard across the board, monitoring wheel movements 500 times per second. Terrain Response 2 is the top four-wheel drive system offered, and it's standard on first edition models, optional on every other. Ensuring you never get mired is a laundry list of features like intelligent driveline dynamics, an active locking differential, all-terrain progress control, and much, much more. Even though the top shelf first edition model I'm testing here stickers for nearly 92 grand, 
the Velar isn't necessarily as expensive as it looks, which is point number two. You can get in a base version of this vehicle for less than $51,000, and since it looks like a million bucks, by my calculations, buying one means you're instantly gonna save more than $949,000. <laughs> what a value! With looks to kill and a reasonably attainable price tag, it should be no surprise the Velar is selling very well. So far in 2018, it's the top selling Land Rover model, second in the JLR portfolio in year-to-date sales only to the Jaguar F-Pace. You know, I've never really liked Land Rovers. To me, they've always been too expensive, ponderous, and fundamentally flawed. But the Velar here, well, it's something entirely different. It's beautifully groundbreaking and truly luxurious. And on that note, thank you so much for watching the shortlist, and we'll see you around the next bend. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah, would you please subscribe to the Autoguide.com YouTube channel? It is chock-a-block with all kinds of great videos. We've got vehicle reviews, the latest auto show coverage, top 10 lists, the short list, and so much more. You are not gonna be disappointed, unless you are. But you're probably not, so just subscribe anyway.